Yo, yo, yo. Hello, guys, and welcome to the channel. Welcome to Madden 21 Subscriber League. This is a update video, unfortunately, that I have to bring um, again on Madden 21. In the background, you're going to see a quick little live stream that I did um, where we are going to end up simming week 13 because you know the new update dropped out and I wanted to check it out there's a playoff picture bracket now that we can look at um, that shows you who's in the hunt or you know which seed what if you know the league was to end what who would make it to the playoffs and to be able to look at it you have to be in week t 13 or you know farther you can't look at it any other time so I wanted to check that out we were only a week away so I was like hey let's sim one week and um, take a look at this thing. <clears throat> I had heard from a couple of sources that Madden 21 was broken again, uh, that the in-game crash is back in franchise, and I went to go record next episode after this video here uh, with the Saints playing the Carolina Panthers, and... It, it did. It, it crashes. And I, I've tried multiple times to, you know, s see if there's a way to get around it. Um, and there's no way. Every, every time you play a game, it crashes. And look, if your game isn't doing this, I could give two fluffs, bro. I, I could care less. So don't go in the comments talking about if you're a Madden fanboy. Dude, go screw yourself if you're a Madden fanboy. I don't care. To hear what you got to say. I'm tired of people um, like writing a little smart ass comment about what are you talking about? I haven't experienced anything. The fact is I'm experiencing it and I don't care what you're experiencing. I know what I'm experiencing and my game is crashing after every game and it's doing it again after the patch. They updated the game, they updated the franchise, they added a, like a couple things and it's broken again. And I'm beyond fed up with this this crap man um, you guys can tell it is frustrating man especially when you have such an interactive uh, channel like with what I'm doing I, you know I need franchise work because it's fun with what I'm doing with you guys like I don't want to do it on any other uh, sports game it feels like it's the best on Madden um, getting you guys to you know commentate as your players and stuff like that and it's really interactive We get this beat these beefs going and stuff But when the game is broken, I can't I literally can't do it and I'm not going to stat I'm, I'm big on stats and so the only way to get around this is Either we just sim which is not fun because we don't actually get to watch any games or two We watch the games. I let it crash and then I force win the team that won but the the problem with that is Let's say Zach Keeser goes out and he throws three touchdown passes for the Packers, right? And wins the game. And then the game crashes. And it's like, okay, I'll cut that part out, force win it off camera. That way he, they still get the win. But you want to know what happens? The stats from the game that you guys watch will not match up to the, the forced win stats. So we could go back and you guys watch Zach throw three touchdown passes to get the win. But then when I force win it, he he only threw one touchdown pass and they got three rushing you know touchdowns to win the game. So it's like what y'all are watching really didn't happen. So either way, it's not fun and I'm not doing it like that. I don't care. I'm not. I was doing it when it was first happening. But I'm sorry. I'm a big stats guy and I want to be you know what I'm watching. I want that to be what I actually what's actually happening. So I'm not going to do the little. Uh, we watch the game, it crashes, I go back in, just force win the team, and then the stats don't even match up to what we watch. That just seems stupid to me. Uh, if you guys are interested and in, in, in you're not that big on that, I, I'm sorry, man, I am. And I'm never going to do something that I'm not down with as well. Same with, like, I want you guys to enjoy what I bring out, but I'm sorry, man, I don't do this full time. I'm going to do what I want to do um, at the end of the day, and I know that may sound a little bit selfish, I hope you guys do understand, and like I said, I, I try to bring really good, interesting content to you guys, uh, but I can't do it with a broken game. Uh, Madden 19 was the worst Madden that ever came out up to this point. I unfortunately now have to rate Madden 21 the worst, and it's not even about gameplay, it's not about anything like that, it's the fact that the fucking game's broken. And 
that's all there is to it. The game is broken. I don't care what you want to say. All those little fanboys that I was going back and forth with when the game first dropped, talking about the game just came out, yada yada. Well, where are y'all at now? What about now? It's November. It's fucking mid-November. So shut, just shut your mouth because you have no argument. You have no argument. The game, you guys don't know what it, what a good product is, though. It's not your fault. You guys are, you know, naive to, to the world. And to, to, at least to the gaming, the gaming world. You don't know what to, to you know, get a, pr a good product on launch day is. And this is a rant, and I know it is, and I, these videos aren't fun to watch, and they're not fun to make. But just an update, guys. Series is, for now is on a on a standstill. I will not be recording any Mad Subscriber League unless you guys would be interesting in going back to Mad 20 and finishing out the stories that were never finished. Zach Keister took a knee injury. Whatever happened to him? Did he come back and play better? What about Caleb Goins, the one who on paper has always kind of one-up Zach Keister. What about Casey Woods, who was so close to getting in the Super Bowl? There's a lot of stories we could be told. If you guys would be interested in just going back to Madden 20, I think I could get down to it. But I know there's a lot of you new guys that are here and are not even in Madden 20 series, which I could add you guys if you leave a player down below. But for right now, I mean, you guys see the new playoff bracket. It looks cool. But is it worth getting this for the game to be broken? For how long am I not going to be able to play it? It's going to be months. It's going to be weeks at least before they actually fi fix it because that's how long it took them the first time. So I'm done with Madden 21, man. I'm done with, you know, spending an hour recording and then to find out that the game, the game crashes, it didn't even save. I'm done, man. I'm fed up with it. I'll go back to Madden 20, 20 and do Subscriber League. I'll be, and I'll even enjoy it. Well, only I'm only going to do it if you guys enjoy it too. I want to do stuff that you guys want to see as well as stuff that I want to do. So there's two options. And I'm a, I think I'm going to leave a poll for you guys to vote on. We can either just... I can upload different stuff for now until they fix Madden 21. And then when the game and franchise is fixed, we will go back to resuming the subscriber league. Which, don't know how long that will take. Or we can just go back to Madden 20 and pick up where we left off, which was the Jaguars, I believe, winning the Super Bowl against the Washington, I'm going to say it, I don't care, Redskins. <laughs> but yeah, you guys let me know. Sorry for this little rant. That's all I got. And uh, God bless and have, have an amazing day. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.